Hello, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. I hope everyone's getting ready for a nice uh, Christmas and New Year's holiday. Today I'm doing a video source inspection on a new SciTech um, 470 spin rinse dryer. Uh, this video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel uh, so our customers can watch it so we do not give their names out. I will reference their PO number though, 20223113. Uh, this system is, is, has been set up with the low profile 6 inch carrier. This is the Integris A190-60M low profile. Uh, the customer has uh, the three of the traditional options they've chosen. One is the anti-static module and I can see the anti-static in there. Number two and three are the DI water recirculation. I see it right here and the DI resistivity probe. I see that. It also has the EMO box on the back. This system also utilizes the state-of-the-art Cytex slick device controller. This is the, uh, we believe, the most advanced controller available on any spinner and dryer in the world. Uh, it's a, it is also a direct retrofit to the uh, traditional semi-till S and F uh, model of spinner and dryers. Uh, rather than um, uh, review our whole manufacturing process now and uh, Cytex capabilities, I'm going to start the machine and then because when it's running there's nothing to do but just watch it and then I'll discuss our capabilities why the tool is running. So, you simply load a cassette of substrates, in this case wafers, and you hit start. Uh, also, this has the uh, EMO. This is CE marked on the back, and this has our light indicator. Our light indicator tells uh, operators at a, um, with a view, green means your running process, blue means unload, red means you have an error, an alarm, and amber or yellow means uh, you're ready to process. So. Uh, let me go review uh, our manufacturing process. In this case, this is a brand new system. Uh, so uh, when an order is, uh, comes from, and actually this is going internationally, uh, that's why I was talking about CE marking. This is going to France uh, through our French um, distributor uh, who's bought a, quite a, a lot of tools in 2022 from us. Uh, so uh, in our manufacturing process, when an order comes in, it's written up as a job folder. Uh, when it's assigned to one of the technicians, it's given them on the floor, they pull all the brand new parts and build the tool up. When, it, when the system is built up in, the, in dry manufacturing, it's just the head assembly itself. And when I say that, that's, I'm talking about this. This is an example of a tool that just came in here from another customer that we're going to be testing. So it's, it's, it's built like that. We have, a, another, we have a quality control down in, in dry test to make sure it passes uh, all of the spinning and heaters, etc. working. Uh, then it's brought into wet test, like the one I just showed you. At that point, we hook the, um, the DI system and N2 system up to it, and we go ahead and we um, uh, check for leaks, valves being loose, etc. Once we feel that it, it, has, it works uh, and there are no issues, we have another QC. If it passes that, it goes through approximately 50 process runs without any errors. If, uh, if it has any error, we document the error, or we fix the problem, and we start the, the uh, burning all over again. If it passes, then it's put into configuration. In this case, this is a, uh, a, a, a roll around single head system. It's built in with an integrated bottom base and the top poly. Um, once it's put into here, we, look, we, have to, uh, we listen for vibration because with the polypropylene and the frame, you have to make sure that uh, everything matches. If we, if we hear any vibration or feel any vibration, we make the appropriate adjustments and it goes for approximately 50 more process runs uh, um, in final test. When it passes that, uh, sales is notified and we, and we uh, come do the video on this. Uh, this is an international order, that's why I'm doing the video because I handle our international distributors. So, this is a, 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 a brand new, it looks beautiful, uh, Cytex spinner and dryer. Uh, the support we have on the spinner and dryer is if you go to our website at SciTechProcess.com, uh, on the left-hand side you'll see a variety of buttons. The first seven are all semi-tool related. The first three are the systems. We have our S model, which is this. The S model uses a servo drive, a labyrinth seal, and a brushless motor. We have our F as in Frank. It looks just like this, except it uses a brush motor and no servo drive. And then we have our traditional ST units. Those are the ones that They've been uh, started being manufactured in the uh, early 70s, and there's still probably 10,000 worldwide that are in, pro in process, if not more. Um, so we can do any and all versions. We can do parts, pieces. We do custom cassettes. We go all the way up to, um, to 300 millimeter and larger, uh, 300 millimeter round, but we do, uh, some customers do large uh, square type substrates and et cetera. So we can build any uh, type tool needed. 
uh, for uh, substrate processing. And again, we offer um, uh, complete design of cassettes. Uh, also, we don't have it on this system because it's one wafer. We, um, we offer uh, inserts. What the insert does is, let's say this was an eight inch machine and you also want to run six inch. You could buy a six inch rotor and then an eight, uh, 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 excuse me, an eight inch rotor, a six inch insert, install the insert, takes five seconds and now you've downsized your tool to, to run a different wafer size. We have customers, especially in Europe, who have bought one system with five, six, seven inserts so they can run a, a whole a vast variety of substrates at at, with like less than a 10 second turnout, uh, change out. <coughs> so we have all the three rinser dryers. We also have all the spare parts. For the S, F, and ST, we have 100% spare uh, parts. We have door seals, windows, new controllers, servo amps, new motors, uh, heat and blankets, um, pressure sensors, um, all of your ACR valves, all your solenoid valves, anything and anything on the system is brand new. Part of our rebuild also, uh, you can't see it, but all of our pneumatic lines are color coded so they're, so they're easy to track. All of our, our, our wiring is labeled so it's easy to track also. And all of our Teflon lines are, are labeled. So it makes it very easy for future uh, maintenance. Right now we're in a dry two, which is elongated dry. It's using a low RPM with a uh, hot uh, N2 heater blankets, a static eliminator on, and centrifugal force. So we have to run this for about three more minutes. Um, so we have complete spare parts. We also have a button on the semi-tool SST, WST, and SAT. We're much more limited on those products. Uh, we acquire uh, parts from customers who, who resize the facility or, or whatever might be happening, maybe downsizing. Um, uh, so, and you can look what we have available there. Uh, we also have now, the button below is Vertec. We purchased Vertec approximately three years ago. We are now the OEM for Vertec. We have all of your software, all of your spare parts, all the manuals. Uh, we have quite a lot of customers send us their tools in for refurb now, and we do quite a lot of control repairs. We, there's been Vertec systems been out since the 1970s that uh, we repair on a daily basis now. So that is our spinner dryer product line, which is the main product line of SciTech Process Solutions. For wet processing, you also have two other main products. One is the HCC Integris box washer. That's the 4,000, 8,000, 8010, 20, and 30. You'll go to our website and we have a ton of spare parts, controller replacements, all the hubs, the heaters, uh, all the spray arms, etc. cetera. Um, you'll see all those. Um, uh, we also do quite a lot. In fact, we have four in house right now of mass cleaners. That would be the Ultra T, K and S, and Ultra Tech. Uh, we, do, we do a lot of those. Um, and um, they, we also have those CE marked. We can ship those to Europe. <coughs> Excuse me. So those three product lines kind of um, uh, encompass our wet processing capability. What we also do is metrology. In fact, if you look over here, here's a 10 core 6420 we recently uh, acquired and sold. It was going, going through a source inspection today. So we do uh, particle counters. It's a beautiful tool. We also do the traditional 4500, the 5500, and the whole 6000 class. Um, we also do uh, a lot of photolithography. We have a, a lot of customers who send us photoresist pumps, uh, con controllers, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to fix. Uh, we also, out of our stock, sell IDI, Cyborg, and Millipore controllers, and complete uh, packages, and repairs, and so forth. So we do quite a lot there. When I talked about metrology, I talked about particle counts. We also work with the nanometrics tools, the parametrics tools, uh, the Rudolph uh, the Psometry equipment, the Gertner. So on our website, in the top left-hand corner, uh, you can have a search box. You can put in a phrase like Lipsometer or 10-core or 210 for maybe a nanometrics 210, whatever it may be, and it'll bring up searches on our website that match. On our website, how much time we have left? Okay, we have 15 seconds, so I'll stop here for now. At the end of this process, the RSP or rotor stop position is going to extend out. It'll upright we call home position, which is 12 o'clock, so the wafers can't fall out. And I'll show you how to end the process. <coughs> okay. So, I just heard the door release, so I can open it. Well, I'm not going to open it because it'll end the... So, end of process. Complete, successful run, gives all the time. To clear this, you can hit OK. You can hit clear or open the door. All three clear it. So, I'll just open the door. As you can see, it was cleared. Now we're back to amber for ready. Nice and warm in there, because that's nice and warm. Wafers are all dry. It looks beautiful. Let me uh, go off on a little tangent here I missed. Our slick device controller has a built-in nitrogen savings where you can program after you remove the wafers 
how long you want the nitrogen to stay on. It then turns off and will stay off and open uh, only start when you uh, load your next set of wafers or substrates. Uh, we found doing calculations that most customers will can save between two and three thousand dollars annually by buying a slick device controller just on the nitrogen savings. So the payback is two years, and then after that they save. Imagine you have forty rinser dryers, and you're saving two thousand a year. You're saving eighty thousand a year because you upgraded to our slick device controllers. Do that for ten years, you've saved eight hundred thousand dollars. So it's a dramatic savings to customers. Okay, so rounding out our product lines, then uh, we talk about metrology. So we have spin rinse dryer technology. Uh, mask and wafer uh, scrubbers. We have the Integris box washers. We do photo resist pumps uh, and um, uh, we also do uh, uh, a decent amount of uh, YS ovens, the YS uh, LP3, LP5, etc. We, we do quite a lot of those. Uh, we also then do metrology, the 10 core KLA particle counters, the nanometrics tools, uh, prometric systems, and so forth. On our website, there's a, a, a large range. And on any page on our website, there's a button that says contact sales. You click on that, you put in some basic information and it sends the sales department a lead and then we can get back to you immediately on price, delivery, specifications, etc. So that will conclude my very uh, simple uh, prior to ship video source inspection of a new SciTech 4300S spinner and dryer going to France. Again, my name is Jim Mullaney. Today is Thursday, December 22nd. Again, I hope everyone has great holidays and a happy new year's. Thank you.